Hello everyone and welcome to Chatter Time. For those of you that haven't joined us before, Chatter Time is a session for children under five and their parents and carers for you to learn a bit about how to support language development and hopefully have lots of fun with us. So the first bit of our session, I'm going to be talking to the grown-ups. So children, you could go off and play for a couple of minutes if you want to, and we'll call you back when we're ready. And also children, if you're still listening, I've got a task for you. If you can have a look in your house and see if you've got something that makes a noise. So an instrument like a shaker or a drum, or if you don't have a real instrument, you might have something that you can bang or some keys you can shake that make a good noise. So children, that's your task while I'm talking to the grown-ups, is to go and find something for later. Okay, so grown-ups, the first thing we're going to talk about is our tip of the week. Now, today's tip is offering choices. This is my favourite tip because I think it's a really good one for whatever level of language you're working on with your child. So, as it says, nice and simple, you can tell them the name of two things and you, whilst you're telling them, you can show them if possible to help them learn those words. So, as an example, you might say to your child, what should we play with? Shall we play with the cars or the ducks? Which one? Cars or ducks? And they can choose. Now they might choose by pointing or reaching or looking at the object. That's all fine. But they have heard your words and they're beginning to learn those words attached to those items. You can also do this with snack. Do you want the apple or the banana? Hold up those items. You can do it in your daily routine. What should we put on first, your trousers or your jumper? Are we wearing shoes or boots today? So you can give them the choices give them the words and show them the objects. Now for other children where you're working on slightly different language, you might be working on what we call concepts. So things like big and small, high and low, fast and slow. Choices works really well for that too. So you can use it in an activity. So we'll be doing some shaking later and you can say, shall we shake up high or down low? Shall we shake loudly? And you can give them a gesture or you can show them as well. So again, if they're not able to copy your word, they can demonstrate it back to you. You can do it with other things like, oh, let's see, which bag are you going to carry home from the shops? Do you want to carry the heavy bag? Look, this one's got my tins in, it's heavy. Or do you want to carry this light bag? Which one? Heavy or light? So again, you're bringing in that language for them. So just a quick reminder there, offering choices, a really good tip and have a look as we're going today for some more ideas of how to do that. Now it's time for children to come back. So call back your little ones, come and join us. We've got lots of fun today, doing lots of things about water and lots of things about choices and hopefully adding in lots of concept language too. So are you all back? Hopefully some of you have bought your instruments if you found them. Now, are your listening ears on? Are your looking eyes ready? Are you sitting nice and still? You ready? Great. Okay, this is what we're doing today. We're going to say hello to everyone, do some singing. We've got a story and I've got a surprise for you and then we'll say goodbye. So let's start by singing hello. Now this session has been recorded today so I can't sing to you directly. But parents, you can add in your child's name at home if you want to. So we're going to sing to the children first. Are we ready? Hello, children. Hello, children. Hello, children. It's good to see you here. Now, shall we sing to the grown-ups? Hello, grown-ups. Hello, grown-ups. Hello, grown-ups. It's good to see you here. Excellent. We're all here. We're all ready to go. So singing hello has finished. So I'm going to rub that off. And now it's time for our singing. Now today I've got some things in my bag. 
Singing is a good one for choices. You can use some pictures or you can use some objects to help your child choose their song. So, what song shall we do first? If I had a child with me, I might let them just stick their hand in and pick one. But here, I've got two. I've got my turtle and my fish. Which one should we do first? Hmm, I think we should do the turtle song. Okay, are you ready? One, two. Three. I had a little turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water, he ate up all the soap, and then he went to bed with a bubble in his throat. Bubble? 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 Pop! Yay, that was fun, wasn't it? Should we do it one more time? Okay, let's do the turtle one again. We'll have some more. I had a little turtle. His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the soap. And then he went to bed with a bubble in his throat. Bubble? 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 Well done, everyone. I hope you joined in that time. Now you knew what was happening. Okay. Now let's have a look. What shall we do next? Shall we do our fish song or our instruments? Hmm. I think we should do the fish song. Now I'm just checking my words because this is a new song that I've learned. So this is a bit like the tune to Wheels on the Bus, but it's with fishes. So, are you ready? Let's have a go. I've got my scarf to be some waves. So if you've got a scarf or a sheet or a towel, you could do it with that later. The waves in the sea go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves in the sea go up and down all day long. The sharks in the sea go snap, 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 snap. The sharks in the sea go snap, snap, snap all day long. The fish in the sea go swish, 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 swish. The fish in the sea go swish, swish, swish all day long. The crabs in the sea go click, 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 click. The crabs in the sea go click, click, click all day long. Now if you do that one again at home later that's a really good one for choices. You can stop after each verse and say what next? Shall we do the waves or shall we do the fish or maybe you can think of your own one at home. So give that one a go. I've got one more song now and it's time for our instruments. So Get your instruments if you've got them. If you haven't got them, you can just clap your hands or tap on your lap or something else instead. Okay, and again, you can choose with your instruments. So are you ready? Come and join in with me. Shake and shake and shake and stop. Shake and shake and shake and stop. Shake and shake and shake and stop. Now we'll shake some more. What next? Up high or down low? Hmm. I think some of you are choosing up high. Let's do that. Ready? Shake and shake and shake and stop. Shake and shake and shake and stop. Shake and shake and shake and stop. Now we'll shake some more. Shall we do loudly? Oh, what shall we choose? Shall we choose loudly? Yeah, let's do loud. Okay. Shake and shake and shake and stop. Shake and shake and shake and stop. Shake and shake and shake and stop. Now we'll shake some more. Let's do one more. What should we do? Should we do out wide or in tight? Let's do out wide. Are we ready? Shake and shake and shake and stop. 
Shake and shake and shake and stop. Shake and shake and shake and stop. Now we'll shake some more. Actually, now shaking has finished, but you can carry on at home if you want. You can always pause this, do some more shaking and then come back in a minute. OK, so our singing has finished and now it's time for our story. So we've got a story all about water today. So I wonder what you know about water. Let's have a look at our story. It's called All About Water. Dolly is drinking water. Dolly needs a cup. Dolly likes drinking water. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Teddy is walking in the rain. Teddy needs boots, a coat and an umbrella. Teddy likes walking in the rain. Drip, drip, drip. Do you like walking in the rain? It's fun, isn't it? Let's see what's coming next. Maybe you splash in puddles. Tiger is going swimming. Tiger needs a towel, a swimsuit and armbands. Tiger likes swimming. Splash, splash, splash. Have any of you been swimming? Duck is washing in the bath. Duck needs shampoo and, and a sponge. Duck likes washing in the bath. Rub, rub, rub. Oh, who's this? Rabbit. Rabbit is brushing her teeth. Rabbit needs a toothbrush and toothpaste. Rabbit likes brushing her teeth. Brush, brush, brush. Can you show me how you brush your teeth? Great job, everyone. Lion is watering the plants. Lion needs a watering can. Lion likes watering the plants. Paw, paw, paw. Dog is washing up in the sink. Dog needs a sponge and some washing up liquid. Dog likes washing up. Scrub, scrub, scrub. It's a very helpful dog there, isn't it? Doing our washing up for us. Whale is sailing on the boat. The boat goes on the water. Whale likes sailing on the boat. Float, float, float. The toys had lots of fun in the water. Can you remember what they did? What things do you do with water? I wonder what you do at home. Do you drink some water? Maybe you have a bath or a shower in the water. Maybe some of you get to play in the water. Whale did some floating, didn't she? We're going to do some floating now. So let's have a look. Let's check our timetable. We've finished our story. So now it's time for our surprise. And this one is with some water. So I need to clear a bit of a space so I don't make a big mess with, with my water. Bring this on here. Slide it in. Now, can you see what I've got here for our surprise? I've got a big bowl of water. And we're going to see what floats on the top and what sinks down to the bottom. So you can have a think with me. Let's have a look. What should we start with? Should we start with the plate or the duck? Hmm. Let's try the duck first. Do you think the duck will float or sink? Hmm. I wonder. I think the duck might float. Let's have a look. It's floating. Can you see? It's not at the bottom, is it? It's floating on the top. Good job, duck. 
Let's try the plate now, shall we? What do you think? Is this going to float on the top or sink to the bottom? Hmm. Some of you are saying sinking. Let's have a look. There it, there it is, it's sunk down here. It's sunk to the bottom. Let's have a look for something else. Oh, I've got a car. What do you think the car will do? Will the car float or sink? Hmm, I don't know. Let's have a look. Oh, can you see? Let's move the duck. Can you see? The car has sunk to the bottom. It's sunk. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, look, it's my turtle from earlier. What's my turtle going to do, I wonder? Should we put it in? Try. It's floating. It's just about floating, isn't it? There we go. It's floating on the top. And I've got one more. Let's look in here for one more. I've got my shell. What do you think about my shell? Should we try this one? Something like that. It's floating too, isn't it? So let's check which one's floated. Our shell, our turtle, and our duck. And which one's sunk to the bottom? Our car and our plate. That was a fun discovery. You might want to try that at home, but you need to ask your grown up first. Maybe you can have a go when you have your bath. And see, see which ones float and which ones sink. So we're going to come back to our timetable. Here we go. I'm going to say we've done our surprise. It's going to be time to say goodbye to our children, okay? So we're going to sing goodbye everyone, goodbye everyone, goodbye everyone, it was good to see you here. So parents, just before you rush off, just a reminder, today was about offering choices. So have a think about how your child is doing at the moment and what kind of choices you could do. You could do car or duck. You could do things like floating or sinking, whatever it is that you're introducing with your child at the moment. So give that a go at home. See how you get on. Post some comments to let us know what words you're choosing. And if you've got any questions, you can contact us here or you can contact us on our face on our website. Sorry, we'll put the website address on this post so you can message us through that, too. And a reminder to come back and join us at Chatter Time sometime soon. So thank you, everyone. It was good to play with you today and have a good day.